how are you? I'm Burke and you're watching Road Odyssey. It's a bright sunshiny day so let's go outside and do a quick review on my 2019 Toyota 86 GT. Alright so here we are outside we're getting ready to take a look at the GT86 a little more closely and so let me just go down the list of what is not all that great with the GT86 so number one is road noise then on the highway there's not a lot of power for passing other cars especially when you're already going maybe 75 or 80 uh, there's a lot of bad paint chips that can occur so the paint across the front of the car is not that great uh, the wheels hold a lot of dirt and the radio is not that great so it's all right, it's something that I would love to change. I'd like to have navigation in the car, but you know, it's it's a drift car. It's not meant to be anything fancy. It can hydroplane fairly easy, so you got to be aware of that. Uh, the horn sounds like it came out of an old 1960s uh, VW. Um, you know, and that's I think. As far as anything that I'd critique, that would be about it. So let me turn the camera around and show you some of these things. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the rock chips I've had. This one right there, but primarily the paint's what's worse. This here, down at the bottom, right through here, all this, right up top, here, here right there here and it just keeps going all around everywhere you look on the front of the car here and here oh my gosh down in the bottom so the front bumper and even the hood the paint job is not all that great it's if you want the front of this car to stay pristine or nice you're gonna to have to get it covered so there's that also like I said I haven't washed the car just so you can kinda of see where all the dirt collects dirt collects up here on the door what are we looking at my shadow let's use my shadow so on the door these wheels get awful they really do and then along the typical areas, you know, back here on the lower back bumper, but also along this seam. So, there you have it. Isn't this, I don't know if y'all can see this, but there are tons of horn flies all over the back of my car. I hope that's not a ominous sign for some reason. Now, one other thing I've heard people talk about that they don't like is that the rear lights will get fogged up easily I have not had that happen since I read other people's reviews and watched their videos I was very careful to not over spray any of these tail lights you know no high pressure spray or anything like that I always just wipe them down uh, let's see you see how the back of it gets real dirty uh, here's the horn <coughs> Yeah, kind of cheesy. All right, so what I really like about the car is the color's good. It's similar to the Ford's Grabber Blue. Uh, I've gotten lots of comments on this color. It's just been really nice. It stands out well. Uh, the car cruises very well. Um, even on hills and all that, uh, the RPMs do not go crazy on you. So the gears, the transmission still works very well when you're cruising. I'm getting, well, I was getting 37 miles to the gallon. I'm getting 36.9 right now. Big deal. So I'm very happy with the um, fuel economy. So... We like to drive in the mountains and 
back roads a lot. So those roads are very twisty and turny. This car is great. You know, you're watching the side of the road or something, and all of a sudden you got a turn coming up. And it's like, oh, well, okay, no problem. So it's it gives you confidence when you're on the back roads, just even for scenic drives. Um, as far as driving quickly, same difference. It's it's a low car that's built for drifting, so it's nice. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? I can hold plenty of stuff. Right now, I just have a shirt box in the back. So, I drive with the back seats down because, to me, they're a, it's worthless. You know, you can't fit anybody in the back seats, hardly at all. So, I am still working on the house. So, like recently, I've had, you know, four to eight bags of cement in the back of this car. So, it's it's worked out well. Uh, let's see. It's easy to see all around. So, you know, the back is fine. Out to the side is good. And if you can see it, there's this little side window as well on both sides. And so checking for your blind spots, if your mirrors are not set up just perfectly, uh, it, it's easy to see. Uh, this is one reason why we got this car as a scenic and spirited driving car. Um, so the other thing as well, I'm going to flip the phone around and start up the motor so you can see the displays. But I like the displays. I love heads up display and unfortunately this car doesn't have it. But the displays are nice. So let me turn this around and show it to you real quick. Here we go, get down here, do a quick start up. Yes, I don't have my seatbelt on. All right, so there's that. And you see I'm getting pretty good gas mileage. Let me zoom in a little bit here and now this is our this is a screen I use the most. I like to watch my gas mileage. So go up. See your temperatures. And as you can tell, oh wait a minute. Let me get my odometer reading on here for you. Hang on one sec. <clears throat> Look at that. Now that's how many miles I have, over 36,000 in one year. So yes, we have driven this car a lot. So, all right. Now, let me go to these other displays. So, your G-Force display, I enjoy that. And from time to time, I like to watch just how well the motor's doing. All right, and everything else in here operates just really well. So the temperature, fan, all that good stuff. Here's your seat heaters. They operate all right. They're not great, but they at least keep your seat from being chilly. Uh, let's see, right up here you got your different drive modes, which I have used these just a little bit. So those are very nice as well. I like that. All right, another feature that is pretty decent in this car. Here's the old rear view mirror. And when you put it in reverse, that's what you get. All right, some last thoughts about this car. I really do like it. For the amount of money that I'm spending on this car, uh, I'm getting great value out of it. Uh, so, my extra thoughts about this car is it's low. So, if you haven't driven a low car before, 
You know, you've got to go into a lot of driveways, through intersections, gas stations. You need to premeditate where you're going so that you can hit these little crosses at an angle. You've got to watch for bumps. This car is stiff. It is very tight, and you feel every single bump in the road. Like I said before, it's really noisy. It's a tin can, um, but that doesn't bother me too much because I don't listen to the radio hardly at all. Uh, what else do we have here? It's a good entry-level sport car, especially when you buy them used. You can get them cheap enough. Uh, let's see, very modifiable, which, I don't know, someday I would love to put an LS in this thing. Uh, that would just be loads of fun. I'm not too sure about the depreciation value of these cars. I'm sure it's fairly typical. All right, well, thanks for watching this review on my GT86. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.